Hey, do you lip sync with time remap? What's that? You make mouth shapes, then cut the layers down to one frame each, offset them, pre-comp, then time remap, using frame numbers to select the mouth you want. Good, isn't it? Wrong. It's great. If by great, you mean trash. Do not use this method. Time remap is glitchy and unreliable. Plus, the mouths are inside a composition, so you can't get to them quickly. And even if you could get to them, you can't animate anything because everything is on single frames. Here is my personal method for lip syncing. Oh my god! I'm alive! I can speak! Shh! Oh. Step 1. Draw your mouth layers. I usually have about seven or eight mouth layers. Let's see, we have a closed mouth, a mm, an ah, e, a t, which is also a s, oo, a l sound, a f, and uh, maybe another ah. You see, the first ah is sad, so I made the second ah a happy one. Step two create a new null and call it mouth. Control. Drag it above the mouth layers and uh, parent it to the face and then parent the mouth layers to the mouth control. Then apply a slider to this mouth control layer. Next, copy and paste this script into the transparency of your first mouth layer. Alt click on the stopwatch and then paste. And if you can't see anything, you just drag this down and then click away like that. As you can see, there's an error. This is because we need to change where it says comp name to the composition name of wherever you have your mouth control layer. At the moment, ours is character speak. So change it to character speak. Then we need to change the layer name to the name of the mouth control layer. Mouth control. Click away and the error is gone. Now copy and paste your newly edited script into the transparency of each of your mouth layers. Alt click on the stopwatch, paste. Except every time you paste, change this number to the next consecutive number. Three. Four, etc. Close all those layers with L, open up the mouth control, effects, slider control, and then click on the number and then using your arrow keys up, you can flick between the mouth layers. So what did this script do? Let me just try and explain it in plain English. What we've done is we've assigned a number to each of our layers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in this particular case, the variable layer number is equal to 1. The variable control is equal to whatever number that we've assigned on the slider. But we have to go through this, we have to say where the, the slider is. So it's in this comp, it's in this layer, it's in this effect, and it's this effect name. And then what we say is if the control, whatever number the slider is on, is equal to the layer number, then the value is 100. Otherwise, else, the value is zero. So if the number on the slider is exactly the same as the layer number, then the value of the opacity is 100. If it's anything but exactly the same, the value is zero. So that means whatever number we set on the slider, it's gonna set that layer's opacity to 100%, and it's gonna set the rest of them to zero. It's essentially doing what time remap does, but without the glitches. What this also means is that you can animate the mouths because they're on more than one frame. So if I know that my current mouth shape is open like this, and I know that my next mouth shape is sort of flatter like this, then I'm going to animate my mouth closing a little bit like that. And then maybe I'll animate the closed mouth getting a bit wider like that so that the action is a little bit more fluid than just switching mouth shapes.